a great intro to the RV show. RVs, RVs everywhere you see. You got RV seminars if you want to learn something about RVs. If you want to buy an RV, you got plenty of RVs to buy, accessories, toys. Today, let's see. It started yesterday, being Wednesday. This is Thursday. It's not near as bad. It's kind of overcast, 20% chance of rain. But uh, maybe that's kept some people away. So, crowds ain't too bad. We've seen it, seen it worse. So, just moseying around, kind of show you a little bit. Oh, let's check this out. It's pretty neat. This is what a naked RV looks like. Big diesel pusher. 100,000 mile warranty. That's what all your innards look like. Yeah. Oh, there's that dreaded DEF nonsense people don't like. Look how wide that engine is. Pretty good wiring harness. Goodness gracious. And when you put an RV on top of it, how are you going to get those wires? So what he's talking about is if you're going down and you want to use your engine rig, right? So as soon as you put your engine rig on, you're going to have to turn it on. And what's going to happen after the transmission, instead of searching for six gear or a drive, it's going to start searching. Let's check the front end out. Look at the suspension on this thing. Isn't that massive stuff? No, it's a real job. Now that is an A-arm. Look how big that A-arm is. Yeah, incredible. Now look, they even got the little park model. Good stuff, good stuff. And if you want to go off-road, you can do it for $156,000 on a Mercedes chassis, all-wheel drive. That's pretty cool. The deal. Okay, we need it. Got something for everyone here. This one's really cool. You can even load your bicycles in the back. In a tent, and he's the. You uh, back here, the bicycle. Well, someone say that's the alarm. He's the security. <laughs> Same way, all-wheel drive. Take it off road. Go anywhere you want to go. And here's in the back of one of these. There's your bed up there. You drop it down, and you, and you sleep this direction. They got these little notches here to give you a little bit more headroom on both sides. Okay, $132,000. Look at this! Oh, girly! Oh, this is, oh, we're climbing oh. here. I've talked how those beds drop down. Ain't that just cozy? Little TV up there. This is your wet bath, most likely, if it'll open. Oh, there she goes. Good strong magnet. Yep. So when you take a shower, everything kind of gets wet, and you have to let it dry out. This way, no microwave, refrigerator. On a Ford chassis. Nice. That was me. Ooh, some vintage. Oh, I like those vintage. Those, let's go check those out. Ain't that nice? Pretty in pink. There's a red one. Baby moon hug caps. See it looks like a sack. How much is it? Uh, wow, thirty thousand dollars. On sale. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Fridge. Children. This one's got a wood grain. Hi, right, isn't this great? Oh, it is. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. Okay. Jerry and I are going out. I think. Let's see what this one looks like inside. Big booth. It's pretty roomy. Pink fridge. Gosh. Really big bathroom. Impressive. So four hundred nineteen thousand dollars. See what this looks like. Mm. Whatever we whatever we charge on the mm. like those floors. Whatever we charge on the hot check, we can see how do the same thing. Mm. Now we'll live in large. I'll charge whatever we charge and put that thing on. I'll make sure I have a big residential fridge. Uh, for me, sink. And when Greg brings it in the room for a yep. friend, yeah. then that's what it's going to be. Yep. This would be what Tanner wants the upgrade here. Yeah, he'll want the upgrade, yeah. He'll go, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're okay. Wow. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. This is this isn't bad. The storage is bunk bed. Access the engine right there. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now we're getting into some more top end stuff. Look at that paint job on that thing. This is Tiffin territory. Stepping into big money. Oh, Big K. Hey. Because we're not here. Check out this paint job. It's how they ran the lines up. And then they convert the paint lines into, into mountains in the back. Very nice. Let's walk into this one. Oh, it's getting kind of 5,000. Not rushing in. Just wanted you to know the gate was open. Oops. Hmm. Dark wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Lots of room back here, Ken. You can turn that thing off anytime you want to. What is it back in here? Closet? Just walk in closet? Yep. Fancy, fancy. This is the top of the line Tiffin. Tiffin. Called a Zephyr. Wow, look at those windows. Goodness gracious. A lot of black back here. Do you see those monster windows up front? Yep. 
Again, the bigger the window is, the less. Yeah, less cabinet you got. There's the emergency exit right there. Oh, that's nice to have. Or I guess it really gets stinking back here. You can open the door. It gets stinking too bad and escape. Oh, double sinks. Look at there. Fancy bed. Nice big TV. <laughs> It's even got, actually has two bathrooms in it. Okay, so we found the price. We don't have those drawers. Yeah. Almost nine hundred thousand. Almost nine hundred thousand dollars, and this could be yours. Hmm. Fancy, fancy. Something just caught my eye. The diesel pusher. Look at this radiator. How different it is. It's almost like they're square bars. Nice looking all aluminum radiator. Just haven't seen that design before. Interesting, interesting. Keep her cool, keep her cool. This is a limited edition. They're only going to make 82 of these this year. Uh, the owner, Bob Tiffin, he's, he's actually in the RV, they said. But he's the one who started Tiffin Company many years ago. So we're going to step inside here and check this nice RV out. See, see what makes it special. Let's go to Piggly Wiggly. I don't blame me. I would too. Right <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought that was you. I wasn't sure until I looked at your thing. Good to see you. Uh, I used to see you over well. service all the time. Oh, yes, sir. I used to give you a hard time to serve. Nice to you driving that Packard back home? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. I don't know what the price on this one is. 45 foot. Dual sinks. I got wash and dryer in here. Yep, stackable. Everything you need, ceiling fans. <laughs> Everything's touch screen, looks like. Yeah, yeah. So you've been doing okay? See how the TV jumps up. Good to see you. How are you doing? This is quite a job. We are busy. No, sir. I, I, I work with these guys. We get things like that. Just work real close together. Hey, where'd you get your bag? Well, I like this. Look at that set up. Stainless steel. Yeah. That's the bomb. Very nice. Very nice, Raina. Do that again. I like that. Drive shaft disconnect. Nice. Three, three wheels. Then you put it back in gear. There you go. Oh, it is motorized. Fancy. You just ease it in. So you don't got to do it. You just sit there and you ease it and it'll grab by itself. Oh, okay. So that way you're not you're not binding. So you just sit there and just ease it in and it'll just grab by itself. Because uh, it has lead ins on it to do it. One year ago, uh, mm -hmm. Remco. Yes, it's who we are. Well, that's who we are. I mean, Rem we bought Remco years ago. Okay. And it was just like that. 
when I sold the truck, I took it off. Yep. And somebody wanted it, and I, I gave it to them. <laughs> Very nice. Aren't those cute little RVs? Teardrops, a frame looking thing. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Mm, ain't that cozy? Must be like a mother in law camper when you pull behind your big RV. Pop the mother in law in here. There you go. Something else that caught my eye, these golf, these golf clubs, what was this thing? Uh, yeah, almost $9,000, but something neat. Yeah, they got disc brakes on the front of them now. Ours don't have that, but that's something new and improved. Better stopping power. How these campers have these toy haulers. Load your toys up in the back, and then you got a nice big back porch. Yeah, ain't that sweet. Here's a nice better shot. Mm. Nice. Awesome. I'll catch up to my peoples. People, people, lots of people. Cosmetic surgery. Yeah, really. Everywhere, everywhere. There's a couple of buildings that we get into big. You get an idea how how busy it gets. Anything and everything RV. Alright, so we're calling it a day. You can see you got acres and acres of parking all over the place here. We didn't stay too long today. We've done this every year for, for many years. Kind of seeing what we wanted to see. Was disappointed in the Onan Cummins booth. Uh, what irritates me in some of these times I go, I like to ask technical questions and they just have salespeople there, no one there from the technical side that can answer any geeky questions I want to have. So uh, that was disappointing with Onan Cummings. But everybody else I picked their brain about, I, I, I got some good answers. But Onan needs to uh, at least have one tech guy there who can, can answer pe people's questions. I think that would help a whole lot. That would be more better is what I say. They were leaving, but there's all this parking, tons and tons of parking. You can even get your RV. Well, we made it back to the camper, and I was trying to illustrate how big this place really is. There's the there's a Google map of it right there. Of course, here's the map they give you when, once you get there, and all the different buildings, all, all the all the stuff that's inside, all the outside exhibits, all the RVs. Of course, there's all the extra RV parking. Because some people come here and they, they just stay for two or three days. They just camp with their RVs. Look at that shit all the way. And uh, but here you can get, get an idea of just how large it is. So there's inter Interstate 4. And you've got all this area just full. And there's some of those buildings right there. And I remember the one in booth was over here. I remember that walking all around. And then you got all this ex extra parking. And I think a lot of RVs camp up through here. So pretty interesting place if you ever get the chance to check it out because it's really large. Some people, you know, usually I think a pass uh, is good for two days. You can come back the second day because a lot of times it takes at least two days to go through it all. We've been there many times, so we only spend about a half a day kind of check things out. It's not like we're shopping for a new RV, so, but we do like to go there and see what's new, check up on a few things. Anyway, hope you enjoy and have a blessed day. See you, bye.